Antonio, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? And I'm tired, I stressed. I have to work same, tomorrow. Same old story. I don't know what to do. Okay, well, think, think like this. Tomorrow is the last day, Sunday you don't work, right? Yes, Sunday I read. Okay, that's that's good. That's something good. That Sunday you're gonna rest. You gotta take it easy. Yes, but uh, Sunday uh, I have to do so many things. So the Sunday I I feel a uh, small, short, short. Short. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I understand you. Yes, teacher. But what can we do, teacher? Well, what can we do? I mean, that's that's the job, right? Yes, but tomorrow I I finish work until three forty five. Three forty five. Oh, three forty five. It's almost regular work. Yes. And Friday and Friday too. Friday too. Yes. Oh. Friday and Saturday work until 345. <laughs> that's something at, at least, al menos, that's something. Yes. Yes, at least it's just. I mean, we have to look for the good side to Carle Lado. Yes, teacher. But I'm ready, teacher. I'm here. That's good. That's good. That's excellent. And it's so good to have you here. Welcome, Antonio. Thank you, teacher. Gabriel, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Um, fine, fine. How was your day? Um, right. Um, um, uh, you. Was it a uh, good day for you? Thank good, very good. Thank God, very good. Thank God, very good. Very good. Okay, that's good, that's good. Thanks, God. Yeah. It was good for you. Uh, okay. I already have the computing again. Oh. Yeah, si te andaba con el teléfono, pues yo ya, ya tengo la computadora ya, mejor. Yeah, of course, it's way better. Way, way better. Um, okay, how are you, teacher? Well, you know, me, a little bit tired. I haven't slept, a little meal, but I mean, let's say, and tonight I have to, after the class, I have to do some homework from the university. So I think my day is, is still long. Oh, me falta mucho. But, uh, you know, can complain actually. I mean, we are alive, we got a job, and we're with the family. That's, that's cool. Okay. So, I mean, things to do, bills to pay, as usual, bills to pay, cuentas que pagar. Igual, hay un montón de deudas. Yeah. Ahí vamos. Survival. 
surviving 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 okay. yeah but i mean that's the nature of the job i mean yes okay yes 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 There's no option. Option. No option, as I mean, we gotta do it. Period. Hay que hacerlo punto. So, hey Gabriel, nice talking to you. Welcome. Bienvenido. Okay. Thank you. No, oh, thanks to you. Nice having you here. Let's see, Magdaleno, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I cannot hear you well. Okay, yes. a little bit. A little bit better, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, my my headphones are the troubles. Give me, give me a second and I will change that. I will I will switch that is yeah okay you hear me now oh now I I can hear you crystal clear <laughs> okay my my head troubles they are they are Bluetooth headphones yeah I don't know those ones in my case they always give me a problem i don't know why yeah don't don't run well yeah and that's something that uh, i mean to me it happens that i use them when i am a student when i am receiving my classes i use them but sometimes they are troublesome yes sometimes it's like that and the, the situation is that my son is in home today. He's at home today. And he said, hey, this is very cool for you. These are, no, those are very cool for you. Use them. Uh, because they are perilous. Yeah, but they give you trouble. Yes. Is that? Yeah, I mean, is that? Yes. And yeah. are you are you planning for the weekend? Are you planning for the, for your weekend? I don't know. Maybe the beach. Me? Yeah, you. No. Let's see. Tomorrow I got. Uh... I got an exam, from, I got classes at the university. I got a teach classes also. I mean, Saturday for me, heavy day at work. And <laughs> Sunday, to be honest with you, Sunday, uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, I don't know, perhaps home, home. Um, what is that? Just home, I mean. Ah, resting, just home. Yeah, resting at home. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, it, this, it, this thing is, is like that. When you work a lot in, into your week, when is the weekend, when the weekend comes, mm -hmm. you don't have, don't have uh, intention to, to, to go out and you don't feel the sense to go out. Yeah, I don't know I mean... if, you, if you sense that. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, perhaps the only thing that I will do is go to the supermarket. <laughs> I remember That's... when I. Oh yes. yes. Tell me, tell me. I remember when I when I work when I worked in the Sasa. You know what is that? It's the yeah. Sasa one company. 
I worked by the Sasa. For the Sasa. I worked, for the Sasa. I worked for the Sasa. Uh, maybe three years. And when I worked the and when I worked for them, and my weekend, when I was working for them. When I was working for them, uh, my weekend my weekend were only resting at home. Only rest. Yeah, I understand you. I mean, sometimes you feel like you don't want to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Como, how do you say? No tengo ganas de nada. I don't, I don't what. feel. I don't feel like doing nothing. I uh, could you repeat that, please? I don't feel. I don't feel. Yeah, I don't feel like doing nothing. Like doing. Um, in mm -hmm. Spanish, sound like. Yo no siento ganas de nada. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I don't feel like doing nothing. Okay. Nothing. When you work a lot, uh, you you don't you don't have feeling to do no. I forgot the phrase. You don't feel like <laughs> do anything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah. that you feel like it's too too much of an effort. Yes, yes, is that? But totally you know, agree. You know, far of life. Hey, Magdaleno, always nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, well, 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 let's see. Today is going to be a very interesting day because we are going to have a very nice topic, guys. To be honest with you, I'm excited. It's a topic that I really like, phrasal verbs. Today we got phrasal verbs. It's going to be interesting. Just let me send a message to your classmate. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oscar, hello, Oscar, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. Good evening, how are you? Hi. How was your day? Uh, a little body. Boring? Sí. Yes. Really? Yeah, only from the, the computer feeling the report. Uh, boring, boring. Uh, sleeping from the computer. Really? Yeah. Well. In, in, in the afternoon, more, more sleeping. Sleeping? Cool. <laughs> That's nice. That's actually quite great. I mean, for you to be, to be able to, to, to rest, it's nice. The afternoon, yeah. Uh, oh, today, uh, today finish three uh, forty-five. Oh, what time were you home? Um, five hour, five o'clock. No, what time did you get home? A qué hora llegó a casa? Uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. And when I was uh, left today, um, other day the weekend. 
week, uh, the Monday, Tuesday, the 45 finish day. And Friday, uh, 3.45. Oh, that's interesting. So Friday is a short day. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. But tomorrow works, but it's only day is uh, our, uh, our extra today. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, really? All day, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Overtime. Overtime. Overtime, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Overtime, yeah. Overtime means extra money, right? Yeah. <laughs> extra money. That's good. Extra money is always good. Yes. But okay. Uh, yeah. Tell me. Hard today, no? Okay. Well, Oscar, welcome to the class. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's see, let's see who else is around. <laughs> Carlos Salivaldo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Very good, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Um, I'm so, so, teacher. So, so? Yes. All right, my friend. A lot of work to do. Mucho trabajo. Um, yes, I'm a report and some report and the muestras. Okay, yeah. What else? Where else? Um, and the other and the other in and entrega deliveries uh, deliveries the 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 box the cartones the car okay boxes yes and the um, and the other teacher oh you were busy Yes. Okay, well, you can relax a little bit and enjoy the class. It's going to be very, very good class. Welcome. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Now, okay, to you. Okay, let's see. Wilfredo, hello, Wilfredo. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, okay. hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. How are you? Bye, teacher. Bye. How was your day, my friend? Okay. It was okay. What did you do today? Same old story. Yes, yes. Yes, same old story. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that you're here in class and you can relax a little bit. Forget about your job for a second. Olvidemos el trabajo un momento. Okay. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Yvette, hello, Yvette. How are you? Hello, teacher. Mm, good. Okay. And how was your day? Um. E easy. Um. Even making report and um, today 
in in a lot of work in office. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, muy muy cansado. Uh, very tired. Oh, okay, very tired. Um, oh, um, today sleepy. <laughs> Oh, Ella quisiera dormir. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, uh, after a long day, what we want is to rest. Right? Um, tomorrow, um, a lot of work in home. At home. At home, pardon. Pero, um, but different work. Okay. Interesting. Yes. I'm cleaning at my house. Okay, that's for Sunday. Um on Saturday and Sunday I'm cleaning in my house. Um, ocuparme de las cosas de mi casa. Okay, do my whole housework. Do my home housework, or you can say it like this. Uh, um, my house chores. Okay, house that's, chores. Yeah, okay. that's el oficio. Oh, uh, yes. In I am much of uh, house shirts. Yeah, a lot of house shirts. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, a lot the house, of... Yeah, in the house, there's always something to do, right? Okay. We always have something different to do. Okay. Well, give it. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Today, and today. Okay, Ivan, hello, how are you? I am good teacher, and work week. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So, your week is finished. Yeah, 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 relaxing in my house. That's nice, that's nice, great. I mean, so what's the plan for the weekend? Um, uh, tomorrow, ah, is a uh, study, study other, other class, uh, the um, finance administrators online. Oh, really? Really? Uh, uh, of course, of course, uh, uh, Lo estoy llevando, uh, lo estoy llevando. I am taking it. I am taking it in, in Safor. Mm -hmm. Y um, an este study, study class, pero but este son clases que yo doy en línea, pero del de discipulados en la iglesia. ¿Cómo sería? Okay, I teach online. Uh, well. I don't know specifically because I don't know the type of church you visit, but it's uh, I teach online, uh, perhaps some subjects from church. Subject, tema, tema de la iglesia. Yeah, yeah because uh, I mean, uh, how can I explain to you? Uh, mm -hmm. Son uh, our class, uh, discipulado, how do you say discipulado? Okay. The thing is this, you gotta be uh, specific. In this case, the specific word is disciple, discipleship. Uh, discipleship. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
it's uh, it's like this. Let's play this for a moment. It's a word I don't use. It's discipleship. Discipleship. Discipleships. Uh -huh. Anywhere, anywhere subject. Yeah. Discipleship. Okay. Very easy tomorrow. <laughs> Quite interesting, actually. Interesante. Thank you. Discipleship. 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 Okay, well, thank you, Ivan. Welcome. Gracias. You're welcome. Let's see. Maylin, Maylin Janet. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I try to connect the the meet in the computer, but I can't. Oh really? I tried to install in Zoom, but oh, Zoom is the one that is giving you problems. Yes, uh, the how do you how do you say la instalación? The installation. The installation. Zoom is the is the problem. <laughs> mm. Well, but the, the good thing is that you're in class. And I mean, we will figure out something so you can enjoy the class. Yes, uh, I, I listen to the partners, but I try to, to connect this these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Um, I I cook um, tortas mexicanas and I go, how do you say, hacer una entrega. Make a delivery make a deliver to airports where uh, in san salpa oh okay yes. oh, that's cool huh? yes it, it's okay <laughs> more, more money yeah i mean extra money is always good yes <laughs> that's something that we that always make us happy. Okay, well, thank you very much, Maylin, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Luis Antonio. Oh, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luis, just give me a second. Hello, teacher. Just give me a second, solo un segundo. Let me get the, 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 the attendance. Déjeme tomar los Before I forget. Okay, Carlos Eduardo Artiga. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marbot. Presente, Che. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Estefan Elisset Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Presente, Che. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Iván Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present, teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. I am here teacher. 
Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, Chair. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, Chair. Nelson Antonio Arrobas Rosales. Present, Chair. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, Chair. Rosalina Alvarado. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Guillermo Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. And Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, let's see. I was talking to you, Pablo Nocón. Luis, right? Luis Antonio, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am great, teacher. A little tired. I can imagine it's Friday. And what's the plan for the weekend? What's you got? What's the plan for the weekend? Hey, para fin de semana. Teacher, I have a problem with the, with the connection. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. We can talk later. Okay, hoy, welcome hoy to camino, the class. Todavía, teach, hoy de no problem, my friend. Welcome to the okay. class. Thank you, teacher. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Today I still got time. Carla, hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay, and how was your day? Mm. A good day, Hi. a bad day, a, a regular day? Regular day. Okay, and what's your plan for the weekend? Um, a star a course, a course, a curso. What do you okay. say, curso? Course. Course, a uh, unas acrílicas. Oh, really? Acrylic yes. nails. Yes. Uh, okay. Sat Saturday. Um. Um, be, beginning, eh, inicio. Okay, it begins on Saturday. Ah, begin, begin, yes. It begins on Saturday. In begin on Saturday. That's nice. Sí. I hope you have fun. Espero que se divierta. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, now it's, let's see, who's starting? Ivania, hello Ivania, how are you? Hello teacher. Mm, how are fine. you? Fine. I'm fine. And how was your day? Fine. How was Hello. Tired. Tired. Heavy day. Yes. Yes. Work yeah. is Saturday. Yeah. Hello. So, when's your day off? Saturday, Libra. Como dice? When's your day off? When is your day off? When does su día libre? So, Sunday. Just Sunday? Sunday. Oops. So it's not that easy, right? Not that fast. 
No. Okay, and what you gonna do on Sunday? It's church. Go to church. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Que más? Wash my shirts. Oh, do the laundry. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's something important. Very, very important. And prepare for for a week. Yeah. And that's not that happy, right? No. Yes, no está bonito. Yeah, yeah, I understand it totally, but I mean, what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? My dear, welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see. Welcome all of you guys. And we need to start working on the uh, on some of the activities because we got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Nobody was forget. Just let me get a little something. Okay, let me see. I'm sorry guys, I'm just checking something here on your names. Okay. I guess everything's okay. Well, tonight, uh, as I told you, we're gonna be working with phrasal verbs, but uh, first we're going to talk about the procedure at Mainenham. And that's interesting. We got us a, 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 we got us a nice conversation, but before the conversation, there's a very interesting couple of questions for you to discuss. The questions goes like this, look. Who, who is the person who fixes damaged equipment in your company? Who is the person in charge of fixing something when it gets damaged? And what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? That's always one machine that we are like, ah, this machine is killing me. You remember from yesterday? This machine yeah. is killing me. You get like, oh man, it pisses me off. Man, so that's what you're going to do. Just a couple of questions, very simple, just for you to warm up. Es un calentamiento, okay? So you're just going to have four minutes to discuss it, working in pairs, and then we come back here and we are going to discuss. Then we have a conversation. After the conversation, we got a, a grammar explanation, and then we're gonna have more conversations. So it's interesting for today. So let's see, breakout rooms. I'm gonna send you to work in your top three members, two and three members, let's see, no, better like this. Just let me check on something. Okay, guys, four minutes, hurry up. I'm gonna send the questions to the WhatsApp also.
Mm. ¿Cuáles son las piezas de equipo con las que tienes problemas? Mm -hmm. in, okay. this case, in this case, it's uh, on the office. And you? Yes, I, 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 don't know. A... I don't know. Yes, I, I work in an office. But I, I have a lot of problems with my equipment. Mm. So I, I regularly call to the IT for, for damaging my equipment to work. Um, uh, what are some machines? It's a, com it's a computer, but it, it's a uh, version uh, very old. Okay, este, oh. este sería, serían computers. Entonces, en la primera cuestión, ¿quién es la persona que repara? Bueno, en la, en la empresa es el, el, el departamento de informática, no sé cómo le dicen ahí. Hello. Sí, es de informática. Ok. ¿Can you listen? Es de SEI, IT es de SEI, informática. Department. Computers department. No, we have, we have. IT, IT department sería. IT, yes. IT department. Ajá, uh -huh. IT department is correct. IT. Uh, excuse me, IT. <laughs> yes, yes, we have. Entonces, ponemos, ¿qué equipo podríamos poner? Teacher. Yes. The, the, the activity is like a conversation. Yeah, oh. ask and answer those questions. Solo answer that question. Okay. No, solo, solo la respondemos entonces. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Entonces, Ivania, in, in your case, is the printer. In my case, is mm, the air conditioning. And mailing is other question, teacher. <laughs> eh, quiere referirme a un ambiente, pero un ambiente de como de software de un sistema. What about it? Okay, con el, ¿Cómo? Okay, con el ambiente del sistema. I mean, what is it specifically what you mean? ¿Qué específicamente quiero entender? Es que, por ejemplo, en mi trabajo, eh, lo que da más problemas son ambientes. Tenemos distintos ambientes. Este, digamos que, que Zoom tenga, bueno, es Zoom, es, es Teams y así como, o sería aplicativos. Yeah, applications, uh, environment. Environment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, eh, the air conditioning, el aire acondicionado es lo que más se daña. <laughs> Siempre está dañado. Bye, pero. Who is the person? <clears throat> Who fixes damage requirement? In your case, Ivania, uh, who is the person? Um, 
siempre y es muy extraño porque la niña está en esta vida. ¿Quién habla para la impresora? ¿Hola? ¿Quién arregla la, impres la impresora? Son técnicos de fuera. Técnicos profesionales. External people. Okay. Um, um, the are technical, the technical. Y en su caso, Verónica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In my case, um, we, we have to call the technicians, creo que se dice. Technicians. Uh, technicians that arrive three days later. <laughs> no, no llegan rápido, llegan super tarde. And you mailing? In my case, is the uh, leader the lead the cada area permit leader the cada area. Here for each area. Mm -hmm. The depends. Depends to applicate. 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 ¿Cuál es su trabajo, Mary? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo es su trabajo? Pues yo estoy como, soy como la barrera este, de desarrollador de software a, a los pasos que se hacen a producción en el agrícola. Este, por ejemplo, si se hace un software nuevo, eh, tiene que pasar por QA, entonces es mi trabajo probar en los ambientes que no van a fallar. Y depende de los ambientes. Entonces, por eso, a veces hay varios ambientes cada líder de cada área o, o cada desarrollador se encarga de resolver la, las cosas cuando fallan. No hay. A veces sí está como una mesa de ayuda, pero en varias ocasiones nos toca como por área resolver cada problema. Así que no, no está definido. Qué complicado. Un poquito. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. Let's see. Mm. Okay, okay. Now is everybody here? Excellent. 
smiling, I got you in two devices, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, why do I have more students? And now then I check out that you got two devices. That's cool. That's cool. No problem. Okay, guys, let's continue. Well, we got us now to practice a conversation. It's going to be uh, very easy and it's going to be the introduction to the grammar topic for today. So I hope you really, really, really enjoy it. So let me share with you the conversation for tonight. Okie dokie. The instruction, we are working in your manuals in page number 35. This is the intro manual. Exercise number two, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And the conversation goes like this. Oh, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. I repeat. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, now before we go to the rooms, uh, a spanner is una llave, okay? The ones that mechanics use to unscrew stuff. Lo que es un mecánico para destrabar algo, okay? To, when you want to take off a nut, Cuando quiere quitar una tuerca, una llave de tuerca, that's spanner. Ok. And let me get you to the groups. You're going to have four minutes to practice this. Groups are created, guys. Please. Um, let me do something. Okay, groups are created. And let's go check the boot. Huh. 
parallels. You're driving. Así es, teacher. Fíjese que voy, voy manejando todavía. Don't worry, don't worry. I will send you in a group just as a listener, okay? Okay, okay. And Gabriel, I'm going to send you to another group so you can practice. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's give them 60 seconds.
teacher, you have off your microphone. My, I'm so sorry, my apologies. Okay, guys, look, uh, before I move on, I need to clarify something. Antes de continuar, necesito aclarar algo y necesito explicarlo en español. Eh, el lunes terminamos la tercera semana. Tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma de preferencia este fin de semana, por favor. Pero también deseo comentarles el hecho de que nosotros tenemos que llegar al 80% de la asistencia. Eh, para llegar a este 80% necesitamos hacer un poquito de esfuerzo. Por favor, les recomiendo que estemos en las clases todo el tiempo posible. Ok, so please don't forget the attendance, the attendance, very important. Now, oh, the attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marajón. Percentage. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Percentage. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Iván Echamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelía Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Carlos Postoe Chávez. Present teacher. Okay, guys, let's see the conversation. Who's going to start? Who's going to start? Ivan Guzman and Carla Lisset. Ivan, you are Dave. Carla, you are Tom. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you face me that spanner, please? I need to tie, I need to tighten up this group. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did you clean up? Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know, know he did because I asked him to wait of the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electricians? The engine don't stop the turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't all, all eat regularly, it will stay up eventually. That's correct. Okay, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Ivan, tighten up. Spanner, spanner, Ivan. Spanner. Yep. And. Spanner. Spanner. And Carla. Okay, Carla. Asked. 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 Like that. Asked. Perfect. Switch off. Switch off. Switch. Switch. 
Uh, switch off. Off. Switch, switch off. off. Switch off. Okay, and size up. Size up. Size up. Perfect, thank you. Gabriel Beltran and Yvette Figueroa. Gabriel, you are going to start your day. Tom, I need to help. Can you pass me that spanner? Please, I need to tighten up this crew. Sure, sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, this keep planner. Yes. The moon before the left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, did you Corn. call up the electrician, the engine done stop to turtles? And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that it's if you don't oil it regularly, it will save you eventually. That's correct. Okay. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Okay. Tighten up. Okay. Call up. Call up. Call up. Call up. Size 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 up. S E I no, that word is not size. This 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 up. This up, this up. Yes, I'm sorry, my bad. The problem, and I will explain to you. The problem is this. Uh, some verbs for me, the the I need to remember the pronunciation, the American pronunciation. Because some verbs I learned with my teacher, and one of the teachers I had was British. So sometimes I have that little problem. In this case, in American English, you say, this up, this up, okay? This up. My apologies. This up. Me disculpe. Okay? Now, let's see. Hey. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry, guys. Okay, now, Antonio Rodas and Oscar Armando. Antonio, you are Dave, and Oscar, you are Tom. Okay, teacher. Tom. I need your help. Can you pass up? I need to help up. Sure. Here you go. Yes, he did. I know. He because I asked ask him to switch, switch off the power. Right. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't, all is, is regular, it will side up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Oil it. Oil it. Oil it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Veronica and Magdaleno. 
Okay. Veronica, you are Dave. Magdaleno, you are Tom. Okay. Magdaleno. Okay, I'm Tom. Okay, perfect. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here we go. Thanks a lot. Look, did, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Jim, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. This up, That's this up. Sorry. This. 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 Like that. Like that. This up. This up. This up. Great. Thank you. Very well done, both of you. Excellent. Carlos Olivaldo and Maylin. Carlos, you start. Maylin, you are Tom. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to team up the spoon. Sure, here you go. Thanks. I love it. Look, did it clean up the room beautiful and left? It left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. Be be the be there was. Did you call 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 call? Call up, call up the electricity. The engine don't stop to turn off. I know we have uh, the problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, oil it, oil it, oil it, oil it, oil it, regularly to the See eventually. That is correct. Uh, regularly, mailing regularly. Regularly. Regular. Okay, look, listen, listen. Regularly. Regularly. <laughs> like, that. like that, no, regular. 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 regularly. Perfect, thank you. Carla, Lisette, and Ingrid. Who is star teacher? Carla, you start. Ingrid, you are Tom. Carla. Okay, perhaps Carla is not available. So Ingrid and Ivania. Ivania. Ivania, you ready? Okay. Ingrid, you start. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spa spanner, please? I, spanner. I, a spanner, please. I need to tighten up his group, this group. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off of the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't call it regular, it will set up eventually. That's correct. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, uh, Luis Antonio and Edwin Alberto. Okay, teacher. Luis, you start. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tie it up this crew. Edwin, you ready? Okay. Tom, I need your help. No, no, no. That... Edwin, you are you are Tom. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Sure. You... Here you go. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Look, did the kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. Switch of the, the power. By the way, did you call call up the electrician? The engine does stop top through on, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will cease up eventually. That's correct. Okay, perfect. Now, remember guys, tighten up, so can. Clean up, it's to clean. Switch off, it's the same as turn off. Es lo mismo que hacer turn off, apagar, okay? But, remember, in the case of switch off, it refers specifically when you push a button on when you move a switch, okay? It can be used instead of turn off, but turn off cannot be used instead of switch off, okay? Now, call up, make a call, yes, Magdalene? Is when the, for example, the machine is automatic, like a pump. Yeah. Okay. It's it switch off automatically. Uh -huh. And in this case, it's turn off. When mm -hmm. when when it is turn off and turn on without the switch. Yeah. Okay. But in the case of the pump, Magdaleno, it actually has got a switch. It's just that it's a pressure switch. Um, because in the control, in the control box, it got a switch. The switch connects and disconnects according to the to the pressure on the pump. Yeah. Yes, and, okay. and, then, and, and then I don't understand, I, I am lost. Okay. When, when, when the, I can you turn you, off? You turn, turn off, off your TV. With the TV control. Yeah. You just press a button. It is it not remote. It's, no, it is not switch on because you are not moving a switch. There's no switch. Ah, you get like, it? like the, the, the lamp. The lamp yes. and okay. I don't the know lamp, what more. The lamp got an on and off position in the mm -hmm. same switch, right? Mm -hmm. That's the difference. You Get see? Switch. Switch, switch on, switch on, switch. and turn on and turn off. Hey, yeah. thank you. No it's problem. Clear. Okay. And then... Um... Sorry, teacher. Um, clean on? Clean up, clean, to clean. Limpiar. Yeah. Okay. And since zoom up, it's uh, 
well, actually to be to be specific, specific, up means engarrotarse. But when we apply it to a machine, means eh, la máquina queda uh, bloqueada, decimos, obstruida, trabada. Okay. That's Sairo. what happens. Yeah, that's what happens to the machine. Okay, teacher. Yeah, that's it. Agarrotarse, dice. Yeah. Yeah, see myself. Okay, now. Let's see. Okay, phrasal verbs. Today we're going to work with phrasal verbs. Okay, phrasal verbs. What are they? They are phrases. Hold on, guys. They are phrases that indicate action. They are generally used in spoken English and in formal text. Okay, look, they indicate actions. They are using spoken English and informal text. Examples of such verbs include turn down, come across, run into. Okay, phrasal verbs consist of a verb and a preposition or an adverb. Look, you have the verb and the preposition. Get up, go to. Write down, take after. Sometimes phrasal verbs consist of three elements. You have the verb, you have preposition or one adverb, and then you have preposition and the second adverb, like look forward to, look forward to. This, it's just one verb, es un solo verbo, look forward to. Put up with, put up with. Like, I'm sorry guys that you have to put up with me for a couple of days more. They tienen que soportarme, put up with. Sitting for, okay. In the meeting, my boss cannot be. So I will sit in for my boss. It means I will substitute. Sitting for, substitute. When I look to the verb, the preposition or other may change completely the meaning of the verb. Some examples, look, we have look for. It means search, seek, buscar, okay? Look up to, have a great deal of respect for a person. His father is his model. He is the person he looks up to. Look forward to. Await eagerly. Con mucha ansiedad. Anticipate with pleasure. But this is a good anxiety. Okay? When you are eager, it's that you are uh, muy, muy bien dispuesto. She's looking forward to visit Paris. Look up to try to find a piece of information by looking in a book or on a computer. She didn't understand the word, so she looked it up in her dictionary. Okay, and you ask me, what's the difference between look for and look up? Because this is search, and this is also can be understood as search. Now, the difference is this. I look for my keys. I always lose my keys. I'm looking for my keys, okay? I'm looking for, let's see, I'm looking for mailing. It's mailing in the class. Like, oh, yeah, there. there she is, you see? Now, look up. The difference is this. You just look up when you are looking for information in a list, in a dictionary, okay? 
Usted usa lookup cuando está buscando información, pero en una lista, en un diccionario, en algo que está ordenado. Ok, that's lookup. In the web. Ok. Also, but remember that in the web you also have search engines. Sometimes you look for information and sometimes you look up some information depending on what you're looking for. Let me continue. I got more. I got more. Okay. The meaning. Okay. Sometimes it is difficult to understand the meaning of phrasal verbs. Before looking them up in a dictionary, it will be helpful to use the context to understand them. Sometimes that's what you need to do. Go straight, focus on the context. That's what matters, okay? Don't focus that much in the meaning. Look for the context. It will help you a lot. El contexto que muchas veces nos ayuda. Idiomatic meaning. Okay, phrasal verbs can also have a figurative or idiomatic meaning, which makes them a little bit difficult to understand. Can you put me up? for tonight? Okay. The phrasal verb put up here does not mean to build, as in putting a fence up. It has, however, an idiomatic figurative meaning. It means to let someone stay in your house. Okay. Now, some of them are separable and some of them are inseparable. Sometimes the preposition is played either after the verb or after the object. Examples. Mary made up a really entertaining story. It's invented. It's fantasy. You, Mary made up a really entertaining story. Mary made the story up. If the object, when we talk about the object, let me explain something. Quiero explicarles algo para que me quede claro. Okay, and I'm sorry I will use Spanish, but that's the fastest way. Perdón que voy a usar español, pero es la manera más rápida. So I want to do it fast and easy for you. Quiero que sea rápido es fácil. En una oración tenemos el sujeto, tenemos el verbo. El verbo expresa una acción, ¿verdad? Comer, saltar, ¿ok? Esa es la acción. ¿Quién ejecuta la acción? Normalmente el sujeto. Siempre nos enfocamos en el sujeto y que ejecuta, ¿verdad? Yo enseño inglés. El objeto es quien recibe la acción. ¿Qué se enseña? Inglés. ¿Ok? Verónica, eh, mira televisión. ¿Qué está siendo visto? Oh, la televisión. ¿Por qué? Por Verónica. El objeto es quien recibe lo que se ve. Eh, Ivet recién compró un auto nuevo. La acción, comprar, que se compró, el auto, el vehículo, right? Ese es el objeto. Cuando hablamos del objeto es lo que recibe o quién recibe la acción. Luego ustedes tienen objeto directo o indirecto. En teoría ustedes vieron un poquito de esto cuando vieron la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? Right? In the previous courses, but let's continue. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. This is something that you will learn mostly, mostly by practicing. And let me show you, I got a bunch of examples for you. Okay. Look, ask around. Ask many people the same question. I asked around, but nobody has seen my wallet. I asked Magdaleno, I asked Ingrid, I asked Ivan. And nobody has seen my wallet. Ask around. Add up to something. Add up. Equal. Al means agregar. But when you write add up to, it means equal. Your purchases add up to. Tus compras suman. O son igual a. 205. And 32 steps. Back something up. Reverse. 
you'll have to back up your car so that I can get out. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to back up so the other car can pass. But sometimes you back somebody up. It means support, apoyar. My wife backed me up over my decision to quit my job. My wife backed me up. Me apoyó. Look, this is separate. Breakdown. Okay, stop functioning. A vehicle, a machine. Our car broke down at the side of the highway in the snowstorm. That's so bad. Look, the car broke down, stopped functioning at the side of the highway in the snowstorm. Break something down. That's to divide something into smaller parts. Our teacher broke the final project down into three separate parts. Look, into smaller parts. Bring something up. It means start talking about a subject. My mother walks out of the room when my father brings up sport. When my father starts talking about sport, my mother walks out of the room. Questions up to now? Alguna preguntita? And no, no question. Perfect. Okay, call on somebody. Esto puede significar dos cosas. Okay. Ask for an answer or opinion. The professor called on me for question one. Okay. That's to ask for an answer or an opinion. But it can also mean to visit somebody. Now, how do I make the difference? ¿Cómo hago la diferencia? Aquí es para contestar una o dar una opinión y aquí es visitar. Context. Just the context. El contexto. Look. We called on you last night, but you weren't home. That means we went to visit you. Okay. Now, look. Check somebody or something out. It means to look at carefully, investigate. The company checks out all new employees. It means to investigate. But it can also mean look at. Simplemente dar una mirada. Check out uh, somebody or something. Check out the crazy hair on that guy. Check out the crazy hair on that guy. Mira. But this is informal. Dress up. Okay. Wear nice clothing. It's a fancy restaurant, so we have to dress up. In this case, when we are saying dress up, it means to dress very formal. Okay. Like uh, oh, Sunday morning, I have a uh, an activity and I need I have to dress up and you know with this weather it's bad because I need to wear a suit and this weather is not good for that you you see dress up I have to dress up that's to dress very formal elegant okay and a question teacher yeah is sure there is for for men and women, or only women for the, the word no. dress? Look, look, I have to dress up. Es que recuerda que que dress up, dress es también vestirse. Ah, vestirse. Do you remember get dressed? Uh -huh, get dressed, I remember that. Okay, thank get you. Get dressed, perfect. Another question? No. Okay. And that. Eventually, reach, do, or decide. Tres cosas. Eventualmente llegar. Hacer algo o decidir algo. We ended up renting a movie instead of going to the theater. 
Look, we ended up renting. Al final, we rented a movie. You see, we ended up renting a movie instead of going to the theater. Uh, now, I ended up, you know, I ended up uh, teaching Carlos Chavez. You know, it's a bad student, but it's always complaining and complaining. I'm kidding, Carlos. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Carlos is like, what? 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 Not me. You see? I ended up. Al final, tuve que. Okay? You got it? Yes? Okay, let's continue. Figure something out, understand, find the answer. Okay, I need to figure out how to fit the piano and the bookshelf in this room. I need to figure out how to fit the piano and the bookshelf in this room. Okay, I need to figure out my wife moves sometimes. In my case, that's my biggest goal in life, to figure out my wife. You see, it means, if you remember, it means to understand something or to find the answer. Oh man, I need to figure out, uh, I love figuring out the crossword on the newspaper. I like it. I know I'm boring, but I like it. Figuring out the crossword. Me gusta. Mm. How do I say it in Spanish? Uh, finding the answer of the crossword. Continue. If you got any question, please stop me. Okay, Queen. Look, this verb means three different things. Interrupt. Your father cut in while I was dancing with your uncle. Put in. Pull in too closely in front of another vehicle. The bus driver got angry when that car cut in. In this case, it means atravesarse, cruzar. Okay? So don't ever cut in on me. I will hit you. Cut in. In this, depending on this context, if you notice, it is changing the meaning. Start operating for an engine or electrical device. The air conditioner cuts in when the temperature gets to 20 to 20 degrees. The air conditioner cuts in, entra a trabajar de este mismo, or starts operating when the temperature gets to, you see? Fill something in to write. This is very, very interesting. Esto es muy, muy importante. Estamos la atención. Fill something in. To write information in blanks as on a form, please fill in the form with your name, address, and phone number. Fill something out. To write information in blanks as on a form. Usted me dice, pero es lo mismo, no? To write information in blanks as on a form. To write information in blanks as on a form. Una form, algo que usted vaya a Okay, look. The form must be filled out in capital letter. Okay. Debe llenarse in capital. So fill out is when you write, you're filling in blanks, but in capitals. Capital means capital letters, majuscules. Okay, give something away, away, ruin a secret. My little sister gave the surprise party away by accident. 
but it also means to give something to somebody for free, okay? The library was giving away all books on Friday to let go, okay? That's the idea. Okay. Now we are gonna go to the manual to page number 36. There's something very interesting there that we are going to do. In here, it's very comes. Okay, and the exercise is this. You have to match each verb with its preposition and complete each sentence with one of them. So we've got two activities. Tighten up. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this ball. This is the very first example. You're gonna be working in groups. You're going to have five minutes to do the pairing and then the answering. It's quite simple because it's just filling in. Okay. So first you need to make the lines, okay? You need to make the line. Teacher, only the yeah. exercise exercise number five completely. Or only the uh, yeah, exercise the complete. You no, you need to do the lining the matching, and then you need to get that verb into the proper sentence. Tiene que hacer el pareo y luego el verbo, ponerlo en el, los espacios de las oraciones de ahora. Okay? Okay, in the blank, right? Yep, yeah, in the blanks. La dos es, es clean up. Ajá, clean up, por eso, sí. Es como. Eh, este taller es. Está muy sucio. No le, dejaré limpio este lugar, algo así, algo así. ¿verdad? O limpiaré. Algo así. Por eso, clean up. Y la tres. Yes. Remember to power before you remove the machine. And remember to.
Remember. Fish up. Campear. Fish up. Subir a apagar. Este, no, apagar. Fijar. Apagar. Fish up. Ah, no, fish up. Fish up. Fish up. Por eso sí. Ajá, sería así como. Fish up. Sí, oh. Pero cambiar. To switch up. Switch Remember up. to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Yes. No. Okay. Bye. Dejémoslo así, pues. Switch. It's up. Yeah, number three is switch up. Mm, okay, thank you, teacher. Ahora, um, no se apague otra vez. Turn off. Which number? ¿Qué number? Four. La four. Yeah, turn, turn off. I want to turn off the Turn off the game. La otra. Oh my gosh, no, Carla. Do you still Ay. play with dolls? Familia por el con muñecas. No. I'm kidding, I'm watching behind. Es de no mi comments. sobrina. No comments. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't worry. No, si sí, es una cocinita que de mi sobrina. Oh, my gosh. De. Oh, my gosh. That's a big stop. Son de mi sobrinita. That's sí, cool. La verdad. Yeah, yeah. Ay, lo siento. No, es que that's me gusta okay. cocinar that's... a la cocina. That's okay. That's okay. Ay. Seis es como. Tayo. En garrotarse no dijo que era. Sí, una máquina. Eh, cuando lo aplicamos a una máquina, es que la máquina se quedó. Se, se trabó o se congeló. Se trabó. Se trabó. Ajá. Sairo. Sí, sí, Sairo. Como un ajá, sí, así vi que decía el diálogo también ahí. Ahora, quiera. Y era, eh, sería ahí, sería. Number four, turn no. off. Turn off. Sí, sí, ahí sería turn up, sí. I hope turn the computer up. won't turn up. Turn up, sí. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, ahí sería up. Turn up. Turn off. Turn up. Así, turn off. Yes, like that. Turn off. Sí, okay. turn off. Turn if off. you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will. De, veamos. Ahí sería size. 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 Up. size, size up. Up. Sí, uh -huh. size up. The printer mm -hmm. just stopped working. We need to call up. Uh -huh. Uh, en la, en la yeah. cinco sería size up y en la seis sería call up. Mm -hmm. Ok. Parece que terminamos ya, teacher. Finish. Sí, great, excellent.
Okay, let's see. We're just waiting for everybody to come back. Don't do that, Maylin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's contagious. Don't do that. It's contagious. You just jump. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, no problem. You just down, down. That's the name of it. Down. Uh, okay. You're That's not, you... no, no psychopath. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> That's the down. Down is uh, the sound. Okay. Ok, let's see, let's see. Let's do the exercise together. Hagámoslo juntos. We got time. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me get this little thing right here. Right here, no, right here is good. Okay. Now, Antonio Rodas, we got tied up, tied up. Number two, switch. Switch off. Switch off. Perfect. Next one, Carlos Chavez, clean. Hello, teacher. Clean, clean number three. Okay, la number three sería uh, clean. No, no, Ana Pedro sería and remember to switch off. No, hold on, hold on. No, we are just in the box. Ahorita estamos solo en el recuadro. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, la tres sería clean up. Uh -huh. Clean up. Sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem. Excellent, great. Next one, Gabriel, number four. This, this. Say up. Okay. Yeah. Next one, Carlos Elibaldo, turn. Turn off. Turn off and then call up. Okay. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this ball. This workshop is very dirty. Let's, hmm, let's what, uh, Ingrid? Number two. Okay, perhaps Ingrid is not around. Let's see. Yvette. Sorry, teacher. Oh, there's Ingrid. Perfect. Okay. Tell me, Ingrid. Uh, clean up. Okay, great. Let's clean up. Thank you. Excellent. Next one, number three. Remember to. Let's see, Luis Antonio Abrego. <clears throat> Great teacher, remember to es squish up the power before you remove the machine. Okay, remember to squish, squish, squish up. Oh. up. Excellent. Okay. Number four, I hope the computer uh, Oscar Armando, I hope the computer won't. I hope the computer is... One. Turn, turn off. Again. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Turn off. 
Excellent. Okay, guys, give me just a second. Let's see, next one, next one, next one. Sorry. Uh, if you don't lubricate this type of machines regularly, they will... Okay, uh, Magdaleno, you got number five. Read the full sentence, please. Uh, seize up. Uh, okay, seize up. the whole sentence, please. Um, if you don't lubricate this type of machine regularly, they will seize up. Okay, they will seize up. Excellent, thank you. Next one, the last one. Uh, Veronica, please read the sentence. The printer used stop working. We need to call up a technician. Okay, we need to call up a technician. Now, let me read them again. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. I hope the computer won't turn off again. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will sit up. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Okay, guys. Now, I will send you in a few seconds before we finish. Before we finish. Let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, I just sent you the presentation with the phrase numbers. Actually, I just sent you more phrase numbers than the ones we discussed. Uh, la presentación continua. Okay, there are more. And I know this topic is attractive for you. I will do something. Wait a second. I will give you. I will give you a, 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 a link you can use. in order to check out a lot of phrase numbers. Now, I recommend you just to check one or two, okay? Don't get excited trying to read them all and trying to memorize, nothing more like that. You need to put them into context, you need to practice. That's the way to remember, okay? Me acabo de enviar una lección donde para encontrar un estado grande de phrase numbers. And I mean a big one, okay? So let me get the final attendance. I know that you are tired, guys, and I understand you totally. I feel the same too. This week has been special and the weather doesn't help. Let me get the final attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lizette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Gosman Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Cashes. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Carla Lizette García Lemus. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. 
Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Good night. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. En Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, perfect. Eh, Magdalena, stay a second, please. Guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Happy weekend, everybody. Happy. Bye, Carlos. Have a good weekend. Veronica, enjoy. Okay, my friend, I will be brief with you. I know that the, during the weekend is not your time to do it. That's why I wanted to do it on Monday, but the person who was supposed to stay here tonight couldn't. So let's advance with you. I won't take that much time. No le voy a quitar mucho tiempo. I understood. Okay. I got material for you. It's good. It's going to help you a lot. And okay. it's... Uh, well, I am so sorry. I will push you to the next level. I will send you material, but it's focused on intermediate. Okay? But it's something okay. that you can do. It's something that you can do. Okay? So let's see. It's let's okay for see. me. Okay. I need you to tell me. Hold on. We're going to do something. Sorry, but that information cannot be recorded. Okay, I just sent you something. Uh, can you open it? Okay, give me a I sent second. it directly to you to the WhatsApp. Okay. Is one Russell verb is... Um... Mm, no, the last one I sent it. Personally, se lo envié personal uh, directo ah, su, the, the, the group. No, not to the group. Okay. Okay. I need you to open that link. Ah, uh -huh, yes. W Listening, w w w w uh, listening activities. Okay. It says down, okay. she says scroll down, this is intermediate. Okay. Choose a listening activity from the links below. Ahí le aparecen un, un estado de actividades. Okay, let's go to the first one. Vamos a la a student credit card? Yeah. Okay. You got. Le aparece ahí. Le aparecen topics. las opciones. Okay. See listening script. Yeah. Back to um, generic quizzes. Ok, ese Back to Intermediate Quizzes es para que usted regrese al, al listo <coughs> que estábamos. Ok. Ok. Si sí, listening script es para que usted vea lo que vea escrito, lo que escucha. Now, what I recommend to you is this. Lo que yo les recomiendo, according to your level, is listen and do the exercise. Si usted scroll down, dice, eh, el pre-listening no lo haga, pero los idioms, the vocabulary that appears at the beginning, is good. Then you got the listening exercise. If you hit play, just the play, you will listen to a conversation. Uh -huh. Then you have to choose according to the question, which is the correct option. Y le, esto se lo va calificando automatically. Okay? Uh -huh. When you have finished the exercise, 
If you go down, si usted se va hasta abajo, you got the option again to see listening script. Then I will advise you to listen, hit play, listen, and read. Okay? And then okay. at the end, you go back to intermediate quizzes and you can do another one. Now, I will recommend you two tops on a day. Okay? Lo más que les recomiendo son dos en un día. No more. Okay? Because sometimes we get excited, but the problem is that if you do just one, si usted hace solo uno, you get the vocabulary clear and you analyze the vocabulary. You analyze the situation. You get, you really, really get the context. But if you make many, si usted hace muchos, I mean, yeah, of course, you can practice and practice and practice. But what about the new vocabulary? You didn't remember it. And the vocabulary right. se perdió because you saw too much, okay? One, mm -hmm. two tops, okay? It's okay. Uh, I recommend you those exercises. In your case, I am sure they're going to help you a lot. Estoy seguro que le van a ayudar. And if you need extra material, let me know, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm here to help. And it's going to help you even more because you are not going to be listening to this accent. You're going to be listening not just American, British, Australian, Chinese, people I'm speaking Salvadorian. English. <laughs> yeah, no. And that's good because actually that's what America is like. If you go to the United States, I mean, you're going to listen to people from all over the world speaking in English and you need to be able to understand them, right? Yes, right. So it's gonna help you. I am sure it's gonna help you. Okay, I will practice that. Now, thanks to you for staying here tonight. Have a good night, take care. Okay, see you. See you on Sunday, Monday. Monday, Monday, my friend. <laughs> see Monday, you, you gotta be working. Monday, you gotta be working. Yes, okay. <laughs> bye bye. Have okay. a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Okay, well, it was a very good interest and interesting try. So let's finish it right about now.